Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to sublimate on 100% cotton and dark fabrics using this hack. I have everything I use listed in the description box below. And if you like this video, you learned something new, give your girl a thumbs up, share with your friends, and make sure your bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. All right, guys, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this back to school um, image that I got from Creative Fabrica Design. You just go ahead and download it, um, and I will have the link for this in the description box of this video, okay? So once you have your design downloaded or whatever design it is you want to use, we're going to go ahead into Canva.com. We're going to go over here to create a design, and I'm going to go ahead and hit custom size. Whatever size paper you're using are the dimensions that you'll enter, okay? So I'll be using 13 by 19 size paper. So that is what I'll be entering. So once we're at, in our new screen, we're just going to go ahead to our uploads and where you uploaded your image, we're going to go ahead and select it. Now we're just going to keep this super, super simple, right? So I'm just going to crop this. As close as possible so I can kind of get like um, an accurate measurement because I'm going to stretch this just a little bit um, let's say it's about 10 inches so take note of your measurements okay so it says right here in this little black box um, it says 10 oh, I'm sorry 10 my width is 10 and the height is 7.7 .7, okay so so that's all we're gonna do for right here actually no it's not let's go and just create like a little bit of an offset for this design so just for the purpose of this video i'm going to change the background to black so you can kind of see what i'm going to do with this image a little bit better so i'm going to highlight the image go up here to the top toolbar where it says edit image and i'm going to hit shadows then I'm going to hit glow. And these lines right here in the middle of glow will allow me to adjust it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And I know I want to take the transparency all the way up, change it from black to white. And let's make this size just a little bit bigger. And let's just give it a second for Canva to kick in. Let's take this blur down to zero and maybe just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm only doing this just to kind of get like a nice little outline around the letters because this font right here is kind of choppy. And if I was to go ahead and upload this into um, Cricut Design Space, it would just kind of be a little bit of a hassle to cut it out. So this is kind of like an offset, right? So we're just kind of giving this a little bit of an offset. And I changed the color to white because, of course, it's not going to be able to be seen, but it will cut better when I upload this into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I think 10, 9 is yeah, nine is cool. So we're just going to go ahead and hit apply. Okay, and we go ahead and change this back to white. Make sure our dimensions are the same. Yes, we want 10, well, 10.1 by seven by four is okay okay so take note of your dimensions make sure you, you keep track of that and we're going to go ahead and flip this image awesome so we're just going to go ahead over here to share and we're going to download it and because i have camera pro i can click the option of um downloading this with a transparent background which just allows me to skip a step when i upload this into design space but you know but of course i'll leave the link um, for you guys to try Camera Pro free for 30 days in the description box of this video as well as all the other supplies used as well, okay? So we're pretty much done with that part. So now let's go into Design Space and we're going to go to New Project. Um, let me see, Upload, Upload Image. 
and we're just going to upload what we just downloaded. And because I saved there as a transparent background, yeah, I, this is the skip step it allows me to skip, apply, and continue. And we just want the cut image and hit upload. So now we're just going to go ahead and select that and hit add to canvas. And we're going to take the dimensions to 10.1 by 7.7 .7, right because that is what it was in canva and that's why i said take note of your dimensions and it's already flipped so we're just going to leave it like this go ahead and hit make it and then that's it y'all we'll just go ahead and move over to the cricut and start cutting everything out and piecing everything together there's a rough side and a smooth side to this vinyl and the rough side goes on the bottom of the mat okay so the rough side to the sticky part of your mat and i cut my vinyl on the cardstock plus setting just to get a nice detailed cut all right so we're just going to go ahead and put everything out here is my shirt and i'm just going to show you guys that it is a hundred percent cotton shirt i got this shirt from heat transfer warehouse everything i use will be linked in the description box of this video i'm just going to go ahead and pre-press and get a nice center crease in the middle of the shirt just so you know the design can be nice center and even and will get out any extra moisture or whatnot um, out of the shirt and i'm going to go ahead and lint roll it as well since we are doing sublimation and once I do that, just go ahead and kind of fold the vinyl in half so I can get a middle line. And I'll just line that up with the middle line in my shirt. And we'll just go ahead and press this at 380 degrees just for about 10 seconds. Just enough to tack the vinyl down, okay? Once you finish pressing it, just let it cool for like a second. Uh, just because it's like super hot. And when you peel it away, this is what it'll look like on your shirt. It's a very thin film that blends in with the shirt and it's very soft to touch. So honestly, I would prefer this sublimation um, this sublimation hack versus the glitter method because the glitter is like kind of stiff and bulky, but this like really moves and breathes with the fabric. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim my transfer. Like, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be good enough where you can easily line up your image to your shirt and i mirrored everything you guys i mirrored the hcv and i mirrored my sublimation image okay so once i get my image where i feel like it's lined up perfectly i'll just go ahead and secure it with some heat tape then i'm going to press this at 380 degrees for 45 seconds now the website did say 30 seconds but i just feel like i get better results at 45 seconds so you might need to play around and experiment with that and again you guys everything i use will be linked in the description box of this video as well as a link where you can sign up for my email list because you guys have been asking so i decided to offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship classes where i will literally walk you through any project that you need help with and this is the result you guys look how nice that looks like it's so vibrant so pretty and like i said um this vinyl is way softer than like using glitter htv or whatever so i think i'll definitely be using this from now on so as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give your girl a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to check out all the links listed in the description box.